I've found a woman from the Society of Psychic Research who does automatic writing, I call them automatists, and I think she's rather good, and I'm just hoping that if I do some work with her, she'll get us a bit closer to the kind of experience that Bly Bond himself would have been going through. His theory was that he was tapping into what he called the Great Memoria. When you die, your thoughts and feelings go into this card index in the sky. Does that echo with the kind of work that you do? Definitely, it really does. I call it the omniversal mind. Oh, you have a phrase for it? I have a phrase for it too, yes. And I do feel that it is this energy field that surrounds us, that has all consciousness that ever has been within it. And I do believe we can tap into it. Could I do it? I'm sure you could. <coughs> So to be able to get you into a good space to do automatic writing, the first thing that we need to do is get you into the right side of your brain. What is it about the right side as compared with the left side of the well, brain? Well, the left side is the logical, the critical, the side that's almost like the, the um, computer, whereas the right side is the side that interfaces with the omniversal mind so we can find out things that are outside of our five senses, that are beyond, outside the box, if you like, which is where automatic writing comes from, right? Yeah. So do you feel ready to have a go in yes. actually writing? Sure do. Yeah. The way, that sh sit back and be comfortable, because if, if you feel that you're anxious or on duty, then you're going to have your left brain in there. Okay. So block off the right nostril. Breathe in through the left nostril, which feeds the right brain. This is a yoga technique. And you'll start to get the sense that you're much more relaxed. Bring the energy up then direct it to come down your arm and we'll have the pen ready to write. So bring it up with the breath and then down the arm and it will start to feel like it wants to go really quite fast and I'm just going to hold it back and wind it up. Okay? Yep. So let it drop again. Now bring it up with the next breath. So bring it up with the breath and down the arm, and then we'll draw it back. Oh, yes. OK, good, good. And then the breath again. Should I be watching what I'm drawing or not? Watch it from a distant place, yes. Do watch it, because what we want is cooperation from the left brain. How does it feel? Fun. <laughs> Good. So now go for making it smaller. Just intend. Don't try. Intend to make the writing a little bit smaller. Now bigger. Now smaller. OK, so there's a certain amount of control. It's just a laugh. Yeah, good, <laughs> good. It's just a laugh. Excellent. Question. I could ask a question that's likely to be validated later on. I could ask, are those bones the bones of Abbott Whiting? OK. So let's have a look. We've got lots of um, letters. It's like an X and P. What do you make of it? A. A top pig. <laughs> a top pig. A top pig. <laughs> Sounds like Charlotte's Web, doesn't it? A top pig. <laughs> About those automatic writings, because. Half of me thinks it's a load of complete nonsense. Mm. But on the yeah. other hand, 
I had an experience when I did automatic writing that I just can't explain. Mm. Oh, you remember that bone that they thought was the abbot's bone, but it turned out to be an animal. Mm. And in yeah. the automatic writing, mm. I wrote down a top pig. Yes. What did the osteoarchaeologist say? What kind of bone is it? Well, I asked her and she said it's a medium-sized mammal. Is a pig a medium-sized mammal? Well, I suppose so. Suppose so? Yes. That's scary. <laughs> 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 <laughs>